Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Galaxy here, bringing you guys a brand new video. So, in today's video, we got a good topic to talk about today, and it's been trending worldwide. Um, so, you know, a lot of YouTubers made this video, so I thought, you know what, why can't I? So, um, by the way, you guys are probably wondering, you know, Galaxy, what happened to the road to 100, man? Where's that video? You know, guys, I was planning on doing it uh, daily. I was thinking about making a daily thing, but me and Pure Flank have been kind of busy with high school, doing some work and all that stuff like that. So, but anyways, um, you know, we're going to be trying to do our best to record every single day, but don't forget, we're not in a rush to do this, you know. It's 100 wins, guys. So, we don't want to rush into it. We want to take our time and, you know, wait patiently because... The more you rush into it, the more frustrated you're gonna get because you gotta make sure, like you're going through your head, you're gonna say, you know what, we gotta get these done, you know. So the more you keep rushing into it, the more you know frustrated you're gonna get and the more crap you're gonna play. But anyways, today that's not what we're talking about. Today we are gonna be talking about the Call of Duty in 2016. All right, guys. So we all know the new system with the developers now. Um, if you guys don't know about this, most people know about this, but if you don't know about this, um, the developers now have three years to create a Call of Duty. Um, that just came into effect like last year or two years ago. I think it was actually last year or something like that. Um, yeah, it was last year. It just came into effect. Something like that. No, actually it was three years ago because Black Ops 3 um, was the first game that was made in three years, like in a three year span. So, um, it happened right after Advanced Warfare, that's when it happened. Um, so if you guys didn't know, basically the three main developers of Call of Duty, you have Treyarch, you have Sledgehammer, and you have, um, Infinity Ward. So, um, you know, we've seen Black Ops 2, which by far, to me, is the best Call of Duty. Um, then you had Ghost, um, you know, which wasn't that bad of a call to me, but... Um, most of the community out there in the Call of Duty community, they didn't like it, you know, the, the, just the name Ghost has a lot of hate on it, and, uh, it doesn't have a, uh, lot, it doesn't have a expectation at all, like, everyone just hates the name Ghost. Um, so then we had Advanced Warfare, to me, I didn't find Advanced Warfare that bad, people just didn't like it because of the exo suits, um, honestly, yeah, I kind of didn't like the exo suits either, but anyways, um, so... After, so, uh, Ghost was made by Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, or Sledgehammer made, uh, Advanced Warfare, Treyarch made, um, Black Ops 3. So, who is it next? It's Infinity Ward. Um, so, the question is, what is the next Call of Duty? What is the name of the next Call of Duty? What is Infinity Ward thinking? Um, so, there is three ways that Infinity Ward can take this, guys. Um... So, I'm going to tell you guys the three ways they could take it, and why, or like, what what way should they take. And I'll give you like a percentage of what way they should take. Alright, so, option number one, that, of the new Call of Duty. So, these are the names of the new Call of Duty, or what the Call of Duty is probably going to be. Alright, so, you know, Infinity Ward guys, they made the Modern Warfare series, and they also made Ghost. Um, so, the first option is making a Modern Warfare 4. You know, everyone loved Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 was like the best game in the world. Um, to me, I still think Black Ops 2 is. Then maybe Modern Warfare 2. But uh, anyways, Modern Warfare 2, everyone loved. Everyone loved it. Modern Warfare 3, I played it. I was a big fan of Modern Warfare 3. I loved Modern Warfare 3. I thought it was the best game. And, um, you know, so people are saying, you know, maybe a Modern Warfare 4. Um, the thing with that is that most of the characters, um, like in campaign mode and stuff like that have already died like soul price uh markov all the main characters have died so if they were to basically build off another model warfare like model warfare 4 they would have to uh, just do like a whole brand new storyline basically for the campaign and i think that would be just too much work for infinity ward and i don't think they would go that way so honestly a percentage of them going with a model warfare 4 probably maybe a zero percent i would probably give it like a ten percent but i don't think infinity ward would go that way um option two uh would be a ghost two um so about this all right so like i said 
The name Ghost has a lot of hate in the community. No one likes the name Ghost or anything like that. But there has been some leaked information. This been in Ali A's video. It's been in a lot of people, a lot of people uh, videos. So I definitely gonna put this in my video because it's definitely some leaked information. Um, so just listen to this. So a UK magazine, um, in their in their new issue, puts this, and it's like I forget what page it is, but it's a page and it has Call of Duty Ghost 2. So it says. The developer is Infinity Ward. The release date is November 2016. So it says, when creating strategist Robert Bowling uh, uh, exited Infinity Ward in 2012, he put the departure down, uh, I can't see, to the status, I think. Doing too much pew pew and not enough new new. We got a look at what he meant with the release of Call of Duty Ghost. A solid yet unspectacular next gen debut. For the franchise, Infinity Ward will have to have th three years to work on the following. Work on the following up. Um, it needs to showcase the same creative spark that once put it on the map with Modern Warfare back in 08. Um, if it wants any chance of standing shoulder to shoulder with Sledgehammer and Treyarch, so that was some leaked information there. Could we possibly see a Ghost 2? Actually, guys, I could pro I could see us getting a Ghost 2. Um, you know, if you guys never completed the campaign for Ghost, uh, just Ghost, I definitely did it because I just, I, you know, when I first started playing Call of Duty, I wasn't a big multiplayer person. I was actually a big campaign person. I actually loved, like, playing campaign and getting the story behind the game. And, um, at the end of Ghost, guys, it left a big cliffhanger. Okay, just at the end, before, I know, like, I had the game, I got the game at Christmas time. And I finished it, like, just before, like, like a couple days after. I think I finished it, like, three, four days after. And, bef like, I never searched up the ending or anything like that on YouTube or anything like that. I completed the game. And when I watched the ending of the game, I said, you know what? There is definitely going to be a ghost, too. Just the end of the campaign left you thinking, oh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a ghost, too, for sure. Um, it just left a cliffhanger, you know, um, you guys can go check out whatever if you guys want to go watch it, if you guys never played, uh, Ghost Campaign, but, um, it definitely left a big, uh, cliffhanger for definitely was going to be a Ghost 2, so, my percentage on them going with a Ghost 2 is probably a 50 to 60%, I can see them going with Ghost 2, um, even though Ghost has a lot of hatred on it and just a lot of people don't like it and you know ghost should be in the call of duty community uh, you know i didn't find it was that bad of a game it's just some people out there you know they have their own opinions and uh you know i thought ghost you know what was all right it needed some adjustments to it um some of the weapons weren't all all that great but you know what if you think about it we haven't actually had a call of duty a new call of duty that was just like Black Ops 2 or something like that. Like after Black Ops 2, Ghost was still the same movements of Black Ops 2. After Ghost, we had Advanced Warfare, which was Exosuits. So honestly, if I had to pick between the two, Ghost and Advanced Warfare, I'd pick Ghost because it's normal movement instead of Exosuits and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I would like actually like you guys to put down in the comment section down below what you guys would think about Ghost 2 and your opinions on it as well. Um, so my third and final option is that Infinity Ward shocks the whole world and just comes up with a new Call of Duty title. And what I mean by that, guys, I mean like, you know how Sledgehammer came out with Advanced Warfare and we never knew that Advanced Warfare was going to come out. Um, you know, it's a new title, Advanced Warfare. So could Infinity Ward come up with a new title, new Call of Duty, new storyline, new everything? Could they come up with that? Um, I'm going to say yes. And out of the three options, number two and three sound reasonable. Number one, not reasonable at all. I cannot see them making a um, Modern Warfare 4, but I can see them making a Ghost 2 and a um, and definitely a new Call of Duty title. Um, would we? What would I rather see? I would actually rather see a new Call of Duty title because you know what, Call of Duty is definitely not like fading away. 
it's uh you know it's not dying down or anything like that to me uh you know since i was a trick shot and sniper honestly i find the trick shotting community slash sniping community i think that's starting to die down a little bit not much but just a little because black ops 3 like the games are starting to get harder now for people to hit shots in like phase for instance they mostly hit shots on older cods newer cods now they can barely hit nothing and i'm not saying all phase members i'm not saying you know it's but it's more hard the people that hit trick shots constantly like carl and all them and that are so good at trick shotting and you know their aim is on point of course they're gonna hit a lot of shots so you know i would like to see what your guys opinions down below with the three options what you think you're gonna see do you think they will create Modern Warfare 4? Do you think they will come with Black, or, um, sorry, Ghost 2? Or do you think they'll come up with a brand new um, title? Um, but that's really all I have to talk about. And like I said, that leaked information, do we know it's true? No. Do we, do we know it's fake? No. But I guess this magazine, guys, the what I just said, the leaked information... Um, I guess that this like UK magazine company or whatever they are actually pretty famous in the UK and stuff like that So I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just make it up to get like, you know buyers to buy this stuff and you know To get more yeah to get basically more ratings and stuff like that. I don't think that would actually happen um, I think it actually might be true information. So we could be looking at um, the new Call of Duty in 2016 as Ghost 2 um, it's not fully confirmed yet, so don't worry guys, but when something else comes out, big news like that or anything else, I will bring you guys more information. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was not a good gameplay in the background. It was an alright gameplay. You see, I go 55 and 25, but yeah, so please make sure you drop down your suggestions down below or comments. And, uh, yeah, so this has been your boys, Galaxy Guys, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and... I'm out. Peace.